Gleasley Pit shafts were sunk in 1873 and the pit produced coal until 1983. In 1979 there was a link underground with Sharbrook Colliery situated approximately two and a half miles north of Pleasley. The underground conveyors were redirected to Sharbrook Pit Bottom where there was a drift tunnel to the surface with a high capacity conveyor to take Sharbrook and Pleasley coal to the surface. In 1983 the management decided to transfer the men to Sharbrook Colliery and close Pleasley. The north shaft was no longer needed and it was decided to fill this shaft and this was completed in 1985. However, the south shaft was needed to feed fresh air to Sharbrook. At this time, all the surface buildings at Pleasley were removed and the site cleared. Only these two remaining engine houses remained. Work then started on demolition of the engine houses. The north engine house roof was removed and work started on removing the roof on the south engine house. In October 1986 there was an emergency grade 2 listing and demolition work was halted. The windows and openings were then bricked up to stop vandalism and the site was left to the elements. The south shaft was filled in in 1993, no longer needed for Sharbrook as they, they had installed underground booster fans to improve ventilation. Both shafts were capped in 1994. In 1995, the Friends of Pleasley Pit was formed. They have been working on this site since then, renovating the two steam engines. All the members, past and present, are all volunteers and receive no pay. All funds to pay for the restoration came from donations. The site is owned by the Land Trust, who maintain the main buildings and headstocks. But all restoration of the engines is paid for by the Friends of Peasley Pit who operate on license from the Land Trust. Because of this, Pleasley Pitt receives no lottery fund money. In 1996, the site was scheduled as an ancient monument.